a boot camp like none other in Woodland this weekend. No gym shoes needed, but a chainsaw is mandatory. Lori Wallace explains. We came from Massachusetts, from Boston. We flew from Boston to San Francisco. And Sheila Gavin ended up here. Uh, a boot camp in Woodland, a cross-country trip for some tree carving training from a legend in the industry. Uh, I have no background at all. In fact, this is the first time I've ever picked up a chainsaw. <laughs> After today, it certainly won't be the last. From bears to fish, a step-by-step -step guide from Steve Backus, a true professional. One of the only ways to learn how to do it is to buy a chainsaw and start hanging out with chainsaw carvers. That's what all of these students are doing, and you might be surprised not just by how far they came to learn, but the backgrounds of the people who try it. City folks, you know, college educated people it's not it's not the mythical romantic out of work logger generally that i can't do nothing else so i'm going to be a chainsaw carver now now it's become popular uh... in high demand not only do people want to buy these for their homes but want to make their own too i've cut a lot of trees uh, a lot of firewood but never carved anything John Killingsworth is 74 years old and is trying it for the first time. I made a fish, I'm happy with that, and hopefully I'll make a bear and be happy with that. All of these first timers have come to the right place. Bacchus has been at it for 30 years. His favorite things to carve, larger than life characters, but the passion for his work is in even the smallest carvings. A lot of work, but it's a funny story. The love of it, the passion of it, the independence of it, that's what keeps you going. Boy, he's really good at that. Yeah, and the carvings, they definitely catch your eye. Yeah, yeah, they really do.